Disney Cruise Lines is upping their game and they're going to be introducing some really amazing things. Let's talk about it. I'm Jeff and thanks for watching Backroads Tourist today. Disney has three cool things taking shape and I don't know which one to tell you about first. Uh, all right, let's start with their new private destination, Disney Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. They're really putting a spotlight on the culture of the Bahamas at Lookout Key. You can expect to see a junkin' new parade complete with drumming, dancing, and music, and then you might want to head on over to the Disney Fun in the Sun Beach Bash at Play Play Pavilion. It's going to be an interactive beach party complete with visits from Disney friends joining in on the fun. Or you may want to visit Goombe Cultural Center if you want a little bit of education mixed in with your vacation. You're also going to be able to hear your favorite Disney songs reimagined with an island sound. And of course, there's plenty of sand, crystal clear water, bike rides, snorkeling, nature trails, hair braiding, and plenty of youth activities. Now for the adults, there's Serenity Bay, an adults only area where grown-ups like us can relax. The Disney Fantasy is scheduled to be the first ship to visit Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point on June 8th. If you're a cruise fan, please consider subscribing to the Backroads Tourist Channel if you haven't already. I have cruise tips and tricks, news and reviews for you several times each week, and just to keep you on your toes, every now and then I bring you a video about unique and quirky places I visit all over the country, and I think you might like those videos too. And if you're liking this video, please click that thumbs up button so that it's more likely to get recommended to others. I'd appreciate it. Disney Cruise story number two is exciting. Disney Cruise Lines is bringing back Halloween on the high seas. Now, whether you're a Disney fan or a Halloween fan, you don't want to miss out on this. On select sailings in September and October, certain Disney ships are celebrating Halloween. Disney characters will be in spooky attire, and there's going to be special appearances from spooky characters like Cinderella's Wicked Stepmother and Stepsisters. And the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus are also going to be on board. Activities will include Mickey's Mouse Parade, where everyone's invited to dress up and party with their favorite Disney friends. There's also going to be a night of trick-or-treating on the ship, and of course, there's also going to be spooky activities, special movie screenings, Halloween-inspired desserts, drinks, and snacks. But if you've ever been to Disney during the holidays, you know they do it big, so you can expect the ships to be decorated to fit in with the spooky celebration. There will be 35 sailings that will take part in the Halloween on the High Seas celebration. They're all going to be in September and October and are going to be on the Disney Wish, the Disney Magic, and the Disney Fantasy. And after Halloween, the ships will do a quick changeover and get ready for the Christmas celebration at sea that they call Very Merry Time. Okay, friends, I've saved the best for last. I'm really excited about this. Disney's newest ship, the Disney Treasure, is scheduled to take her maiden voyage on December 21st. And among the many attractions on board is a lounge called the Haunted Mansion Parlor. Ever since I was a kid, one of my favorite rides at the Disney parks was the Haunted Mansion. And the Haunted Mansion Parlor is going to have lots of haunted surprises for guests. There will be special themed drinks, and the highlight of the spooky decor is going to be an aquarium inhabited by ghost fish. This sounds very intriguing, and for the time being anyway, the Haunted Mansion Parlor is only going to be available on the Disney Treasure. Are you a Disney fan? Are you a Halloween fan? Does all of this news excite you? Let me know about it in the comments section. And thanks again for watching today. I'm Jeff, and I really hope that we get to meet on a future cruise.